Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Chicago Football Playbook. I'm Kevin Fishbane here to break down three key plays from the Bears' 18-17 win over the Chiefs. I'm sorry, we're going to start out with a Chiefs touchdown. Just want to look back at this play. After you get a little more information from Tracy Porter, how it all went down. Uh, what you're looking at on your screen right now is the pre-snap look the Chiefs showed. They had the three receivers bunched over here to Alex Smith's left. Uh, the Bears had their nickel defense on the field. Uh, play was pretty simple. Just kind of a screen pass, quick hit look to DeAnthony Thomas. In this direction, Jeremy Macklin was right on Sheriff of Manus. He's able to get his block, kind of take McManus out of the play. And Tracy Porter was the key player on this play. He had Chris Conley here as the other blocker. Now, Porter said he was kind of invited inside uh, by, by the top receiver. He kind of he saw this lane, and he went after it. He thought he was kind of goaded into going in that way. And then as everyone saw, DeAnthony Thomas was able to kind of go around the outside easily for a touchdown. Uh, and as you look at these next two images, you'll see first, you know, Thomas kind of get it, how he's able to get outside the blocks when Porter goes inside because Harold jones Corte is coming from the inside. And then obviously, easy run for Thomas in the end. Zone. Porter said he knew once he got off the sideline, he talked to Ed Donatel, he should have covered the outside. Maybe they would have given up the first down, but certainly not a touchdown. But he saw it, in, and if you saw it on tape, saw it on, on live TV, at first you'd think, wow, Tracy Porter's going to get him in the backfield. Thomas is very quick, and there was nobody containing uh, and having leverage on the sideline, and that's probably where Porter should have been. A learning point for a player who's been playing very well, and Tracy Porter more than made up with it with his big pass breakup on third down in the fourth quarter. We skip ahead to the fourth quarter when Jay Culler made a pass that personally was one of the best passes I've ever seen in person when he hit Marquise Wilson for a touchdown to really ignite the Bears' comeback. Uh, right now you're looking at what the Bears looked like pre-snap, like we like to kind of break down, and they had a similar formation than we saw from the Chiefs on their touchdown, uh, a bunch formation of three wide receivers to Jay Cutler's left. Marquise Wilson started on the outside, Josh Bellamy in the middle, Mark Mariani on the inside, Forte and Martellus Bennett to Cutler's right. Let's kind of see what the route combinations were on this side of the field. Martellus Bennett, a little comeback route. Matt Forte stayed in and blocked. Mark Mariani came out to the flat. Josh Bellamy, a little bit of a comeback route, but all the focus was on Marquise Wilson. I thought this was kind of a cool route that he did. Clearly something the Bears had worked on in practice because there, there's got to be some timing and precision to making this play work as Wilson just went around this way and then all the way back almost like a corner route to the end zone. What the Chiefs did was Marcus Peters was responsible for whoever was going to be the inside receiver. So Peters went along with Wilson. And then once Cutler threw the ball, Ron Parker, who was covering Josh Bellamy, left Bellamy. So he was double teamed by the time the ball was thrown. Why did that happen? Well, as you're looking at the second image, this is exactly when Jay Cutler was getting ready to throw the ball. And Marquise Wilson's on the 12-yard line. So there's still about 14 yards for Marquise Wilson to go before he gets the ball. So that attracted, that was enough time for him to get doubled. But Wilson ran the perfect route. And then as you'll see in the final image, it was the perfect ball by Jay Cutler right in the Marquise Wilson's hands for the big touchdown. Uh, good route, obviously, by the Bears. It worked out perfectly. And then you have to credit Jay Cutler off his back foot, being pressured to make an absolutely incredible pass uh, to give the Bears a touchdown. We conclude Chicago Football Playbook with the game-winning touchdown pass Jay Cutler to Matt Forte. Probably the easiest drawing I'll have to do all season, but we had to break down this play for you and just talk about you know how perfect it was and the way Jay Cutler was able to recognize what they had there with Matt Forte. Uh, as you're seeing right now, the Bears went empty. Jay Cutler by himself in the shotgun, five wide, Bellamy, Mariani, Bennett to his right, Forte and Wilson to his left. Cutler kind of trusting this is going to be a quick route. And also, and he talked about this after the game, they believed they could get man coverage on Matt Forte in this situation, especially so close to the goal line. Your one safety is up here in Eric Berry, so they're not, going to get, they're not going to double up Forte, who's on a safety right now in Hussein Abdullah of the Chiefs. Simple wheel route, essentially just into the end zone. Marquise Wilson went in, almost set a pick essentially on Abdullah on his slant route. Cutler fumbled the snap, was able to keep his composure, make a pretty pass, and it was a great catch, as you'll see in this second image. Matt Forte high-pointing the ball. And look, Matt Forte is such a good receiver. If you can get him in man coverage against a safety, you're going to take that chance, especially near the end zone. That's what the Bears did. They took advantage, get the touchdown, and ultimately get the win. That's it for this week's edition of Chicago Football Playbook. Be sure to check back next week as we break down the biggest plays from Bears vs. Lions.